Oh, it's the soundtrack to your life. Think back right now. What's that song that was playing at your wedding? What was the song that was always on the radio uh, during the birth of your first child? What's that song from church, that worship song that just gets you every single time? This is why music is so important in our life. Sound is so important in our life because it sparks emotions. It, it carries with you throughout the years memories that might fade if it weren't for music. And the best way to listen to it is on Bose. And I'm not just talking about music, though that is really where we go, but it's audio, it's spoken word, it is anything that really resonates with you. This, the Bose Wave Music System, this is the four. Uh, more than 1.1 million Bose, by the way, have been picked up here at QVC. It is so popular, it is so coveted because it's a nice, small, compact unit that gives you phenomenal sound. Sound that's used at the Sistine Chapel, that's used um, in football games, that is used in uh, luxury cars, that's used by astronauts in NASA. This gives you not only that great sound, room filling sound, it gives you CD players, it gives you AM, FM radio, it gives you the ability to connect it so you can stream off of your phone or your Alexa or whatever it might be. But you do not find it anywhere. But here, our sister HSN and Bose. And if you go to Bose, it's going to be 500 bucks. Today, for our today's special value, you're getting it home at uh, $169 less. We wanna hear from you. And I want you to answer those questions. What's that one song that gets you? What's the one that gives you the shivers and makes you like, oh, almost want to weep with the memory of it? Give us a call. Let us know why you love your bows. Let us know the music that touches you. Our testimonial line is open. Our share your story line is open. And we cannot wait to hear from you. You've got two colors to choose from right now. Uh, we have this one, which is your platinum, silver, most limited here. And then we also have your espresso black. It's like a brownish black. Um, and it's very, very, very popular. Comes with your remote control along with it. Uh, and our 29 year relationship with Bose is the reason that we have this. Otherwise, you would not be able to get this. It would be $500 and you'd be hard pressed to even find it. Plus the free shipping and five easy payments. He's just barely over 29 years old. <laughs> and a former DJ, so knows a little bit something Everybody's about Everybody's a music. comedian. <laughs> Did you say the astronauts in NASA or the astronauts in Nassau? I thought you said Nassau. I was like, maybe you know, they take this if they were in the Bahamas, when they go on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> that's possibly where they go and they listen to their bows. I'm just saying, maybe both. Why not? It's portable. You can take it anywhere you want. Just it's plug it in such the wall. a small... That's what's, I mean, because we've had a wave music system since like the beginning of time. Not really. Yep. But um, well, that's close. what always gets me is that it's such a small unit as opposed to back in the day when Brett used to have to like tape things to the wall and do like extra right. speakers to get that surround yeah. sound. We all did it. It's, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this big. It fills your entire bottom floor of your house, your bedroom, your office. You're working from home. You need to up your game a little bit. Put this in the home office. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, a big celebration. Just get it. Home don't need a reason. Price. You don't. You don't need a reason. Mm -mm. Listen, we all listen to something, right? It's whether it's because you love music, whether it's for companionship, so you don't have a quiet house, whatever it might be. But uh, yeah, Kirsten, you hit it right on the head. I mean, all those years that I worked in radio, um, my love of music is what took me to that profession, and then it just kept getting better and better. Like most people go to the same job every day and they do the same thing and you're like, oh, I don't wanna go back to tomorrow. Even though we played the same songs on the radio every single day, I Still looked forward it. to going to work. Yeah. yeah, so I could hear the music that I love. And, and more importantly, it was, it was such a rush to be able to share new music over the air, to be the first one in that market in Philadelphia. Uh, to play uh, a song from Dave Matthews or the Foo Fighters or whatever it might be. Dave Matthews. I don't have But isn't that it? Isn't Dave? that true? Don't, yeah. And again, share your story. Give us a call. We want to yeah. hear from you. It's like, oh, you got, honey, you got to hear this song. Or, you know, you yeah. play that song for your kids or your grandkids because it, it, it holds such weight and intimacy with you. That song from yeah. your youth and your, now your grandkids you want to share it with. Don't put headphones on them. Do yeah. it like this. Explore. Well, everybody can explore together, but you, you mentioned something very interesting. I remember growing up, uh, this was probably uh, freshman or sophomore year is when I went through my Led Zeppelin phase. 
You know, Zeppelin had at that point had was no longer, and John Bonham, the, the drummer, was gone and stuff like that. I think everybody that listens at least to pop or rock or whatever, we all go through our Beatles phase and our Led Zeppelin phase, and and there are those classic artists that weren't, you know, you weren't around when they were new and they were on the radio for the first time, but you can hear a song that's 50 years old and relate to it even though it came out right. 50 years ago. This song right here, um, I'm 0 for 2 so far between Sean and Alberti. Neither one of them knew Strawberry Letter 23 from uh, Brothers Johnson, but I want you to hear the song. I chose this for a lot of reasons. One, it's a really cool song from the 70s, but two, I'm going to shut up and I want you to listen to everything going on in this tune. Listen. You can feel that bass kicking your right gut. It was like one of those, it's not a cowbell, but it's like one of those shaker things. Yeah, old shaker. One of those wood things. It's a little kick it, kick it. You know what it is? It's layers and layers and layers of, of, of tracks. Of, you know, when, when, a, when a band goes in the studio, they have all the instruments, right? And they put them down separately and sometimes together. And all of that's mixed, right? And it's mixed to perfection in the studio. And then we hear it in a car that has these little tinty speakers and it's all lost. Mm -hmm. And for the longest time, it cost a fortune to be able to have a Bose sound system in your car, at home, whatever, no longer. Now, you can hear this song the way it was recorded. Check out a little bit more of it. Red. He just giggles. I, I'm just such a nerd. Hey, let me talk to you about the features uh, with this. It is, as you can tell, Brett and I are very excited. It is a remarkable unit that you can only find here, HSN and, and uh, Bose, and we have it for 160 some dollars less. It's a CD player. Uh, yeah, it's, tell me what Waveguide technology is. Yeah, these two 22-inch uh, tubes inside, I call them the, the magic spaghetti. They are the ones that kind of harness and perfect the sound of whatever it is that you're listening to. Yeah, it's great that it's got two alarms and two snooze functions and all the cool stuff, but it really is about what you don't have to touch, what you don't have to see or, or, or even relate to. Turn on your favorite song, turn the volume up, and then should you choose to add to the CD functionality in the AM, FM, and I hope you will, there's that auxiliary input in the back that means you can plug in your phones, your tablets, your computers, or more importantly, you can plug in a Bluetooth-enabled device, this little paw. Do we have any of these left? Jobby, right here. 600, get this, yeah. it's so I, it's worth funny. it. Yeah, I, 25 I, bucks. When these things became available a few years ago, I begged and begged the buyers, I was like, Five you gotta bucks, get you me home. the, yeah, get me the Bluetooth adapter, and we never ever have enough, it's just they're so, you know, they're so popular when we get this, when you see this thing, because all the potential, uh, you know, the naysayer will go, it's a CD player. I don't play CDs anymore. Forget about the CD function for a second. Forget about the AM, FM radio. Pretend, because it's, it truly is, it's a Bose sound system that happens to have a CD player. Right. And Which I think is a, a great there, added bonus. Is so cool. Because yeah, uh, wrong with it. most cars don't have CDs anymore. I right. still, from the Dave Matthews fan club, get a CD every once in a while. Yes, I am part of the Dave Matthews fan club. Who isn't? And they still send us CDs. So at least you have yeah. some place to play them. I rarely play CDs either, but I have mine set up to my uh, Alexa. Um, you can also stream from your phone, especially if you have one of these. Or, look at, I mean, it's so easy. You just plug, this is all. Like, it's a plug and go. And then if you want to plug in your auxiliary and then plug that into something that has music, you can do that right there. This is the simplest machine you will ever find but you've got to act now it is our today's special value it's our number one value of the day um we try we beg we plead we barter with bows in order to get this because honestly you can only find this at bows qvc hsn and our price is so much less expensive for a very limited time than it is if you go to bows it's 169 dollars less you can also do financing on this if you would like uh nine month special financing that's no interest if paid in full within the next nine months minimum monthly payments re are required um, and if you pick up a q card right now because that's on your q card
card will give you 60 bucks back into your QVC account. That makes it $36 and change a month on your nine month special financing. And you know, if you do the math and it all evens out to under, well under $300 to get this puppy home. Um, maybe you didn't wake up this morning thinking you were gonna spend $329 on a new sound system. But I think that if anything in the last couple of years that we've learned is that memories are so important, people are important, the, um, the, the events in our life that we're missing out on <laughs> are so, so important. And something about the music and being able to, I love what you said right when um, we started and you're like, whether you're just turning it on to feel a little less lonely. When I am home alone, or when I wake up first thing in the morning and everybody else in different parts of the house are far, far away and asleep and I feel alone, first thing I do is put on music. It, it yep. makes you feel like you have companionship there with you. And, and not any music machine can do that, Brett. No, and, and I think that uh, everybody listens to something different, whether it's to, to bring themselves up or, or you're having a day when you're just reminiscing about something and a, a song can take you back to a moment, good or bad, whatever it might be. I was talking last night about, you know, when I got divorced my, from my first wife. It's a fun memory. 2001. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I had a good one there. Um, there's a, there's a lot of songs that, that kind of got me through that period or whatever, and I can still hear them today and listen to them, and I hear them in a whole different way. Right. But it's still a trigger. It's still like, oh, I remember that happened, you know, hearing that 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 Dave Matthews song or whatever, Space Between, whatever it was, back when when all that stuff was going down. Now, you can listen to that, that music in a different way, and it brings you up versus like, oh, my God, it was so awful back then. I want to jump off a bridge. No. <laughs> I think that because music is so therapeutic and so soothing, it gets you through those times. It does. And, I, and, and without being too revealing, I mean, there's been plenty of times when I have been down over the years, right? And music will break you out of that funk. And I think if nothing else, listen, whether it's this or, or any, other, any other sound system, listen to music. Music is, you know, there, there, it doesn't cost anything. There's so much free music out there. Uh, it doesn't do anything to your system. You know, it's not like a drug or, 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 or liquor or something like that. And I think that there's so many cool ways to take music and use it. And make it part of your daily routine, you know, and, and it gives you a it gives you a boost. It's great. It's, it's an instant great. makeover for your house. Yeah, instantly. There you go. Instant yeah, makeover for yourself too. And for, for yourself, your house, for, for your house, for, for your yeah. office, for your bedroom yep. has the alarms on it. Um, yeah. For the second house, whatever it is, it's that simple. Add to cart, check out, get it home before it's gone. We have the platinum. Uh, the silver, and then we have the espresso black. We're going to have to listen to some more music, but first I want to talk yeah. to Thelma because she's okay. giving us a call from Texas. Hi, Thelma. Welcome to the show. Hello. How are you doing this morning? Great. Awesome. Tell us, do you have bows? I do. I have the platinum one. Oh, fantastic. Love it. Love it. Love it. Did I say I love it? Yeah, I love it. Do you love it? Wasn't quite oh, sure. Yeah, I love it. I had wanted one for years, and I would like it was a little cost prohibitive for me, but when you have easy pay, I said, I've got to get it. Yeah. And I want to tell Brett something. I wanted to tell him earlier. I tried to get through. I know yes, the Brothers Johnson. I knew exactly who that was because I'm of that era. All right. <laughs> there we go, Thelma. <laughs> I, be, I bet you because didn't I'm know here. this, though. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go on. You tell me. Try to, try, try to stop well, me. You probably could. Okay. Go on. So you know, you know the Brothers Johnson. You know their music. Did you know that Lewis, the bass player, one of the brothers, he is responsible for playing on Michael Jackson's Thriller album. In fact, I think he's on, I wrote it down because I couldn't believe it myself. He's on, well, he's actually on Billy Jean, and he's on Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. But he played on really? Off the Really? No, well. I didn't he's know that. ton of studio work. I did not know that. I know one of the brothers yeah. recently passed away, though. I know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, I believe that was Lewis as well. But if you ever get a chance, go to YouTube and look up like Stomp or Strawberry Lover 23 and watch those live oh, shows yeah. of theirs. And just see, man, I, the power that those guys could bring. It was just unbelievable. I yeah, had yeah, the Thriller yeah. al album back in the day until I wore the grooves off of it. It just, it just came 145. You wore the grooves off yeah. of it. You and 50 million other people. One of the biggest selling albums right? of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you, I'm glad yeah, you I mean, did I, it. Thank you. I, yeah, I was listening to you about how music can just affect you. It can help you if you're feeling down, if you want to celebrate. Yep. And I have yep. found nothing better to listen to it on. Then the boat. I absolutely adore I it. I said, that. anyone who's on the fence, get it. It's, it's, yep. you're, you'll hear things, things that you have never heard before. That's so yeah, true. Yeah, I preach that all the time, and I don't think people believe me until they get some form of bows into their life, and they're like, whoa, 
that that bass part i didn't know that that's buried in there now you hear it that little that little riff from a rhythm and guitar um sometimes vocals are buried to the point where i don't know did did you know you know it's like carly simon's you're so vain you know mick jagger sings the chorus of that song with her and if you hear it on the well, radio you just hear yeah she just you just hear her voice but listen to it through something like this and you can hear i mean everybody knows mick jagger's voice from the rolling stones you can hear him in the background 